Hey guys, what is up? Today I thought I'd try something different and away from our usual style of videos and I thought I would make a patch from scratch with you guys. Today it's something really cool. It's a deep dubstep bass or at least my take on a deep dubstep bass. So let's just jump right into this video. I'll play a little clip of this demo track that I've made and then I'll solo the bass for you guys to hear. Go bottom to my mouth. Alright, so you guys get the idea. It's a pretty sick bass, and here's what it sounds like on its own. So anyways, let's start right away. So I've turned off the effects here, and I've got a blank serum. The first thing that you're going to want to do is set both of these oscillators to basic shapes, and just leave them as sine waves. And this one right here goes three octaves up, because what's going to be happening is FF from B is going to be on an oscillator A, and it's going to be all the way up, and oscillator B is going to be the modulating oscillator. And of course, we want to set the level down on oscillator B, that means, because it is modulating. Next, we want to turn on a sub, and set it to direct output, and turn it to a rounded sine, and we are going to be modulating the volume here with alpha 1 which is going to look sort of something like this and it's going to be set to 1 8th triplet so far we've got this yeah and it sounds like garbage so we have to do some heavy filtering here and what we're going to do is take a low 24 filter turn up the resonance a little bit turn up the fat all the way the drive up a little bit and we are going to modulate the cutoff with lfo1 like this and there you go you can start to hear it And yeah, you can just tweak the filter controls to your liking. So next, we're going to move on to the effects section. We've got distortion here. There's going to be some chorus afterwards, which I'll put up there, and an EQ. I'll turn the EQ and chorus off for now, but what we're going to do right now is turn on the down sample distortion and basically just automate this slightly with LFO1. And you can basically mess around with this and find what sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, right there sounds pretty cool. As well, we're gonna turn on the chorus, turn this filter off, turn the delays down. I'm just gonna leave the rate and the depths can go a bit down. As you can hear, that helps it to sound a little bit more wide and as well, it sort of cuts out some of that harshness that you get from the down sampling filter. Um, so that's also a bonus as well. Lastly, we're gonna put on an EQ and nothing's really happening here. It's just a low cut, around 200 hertz possibly. That way the low frequencies from oscillator A are being cut out and that allows for the sub to really push through. So now onto the effects. That's pretty much it for the serum patch. Um, all they've got here is a saturator set to 10 decibels of drive. And I've turned soft clip on and turned the output down 10 decibels to compensate. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds a little bit distorted right now, I know, but that's gonna change when the pitch bending starts happening. And before we do that though, I'm gonna turn on this EQ8, just cuts out the very, very low frequencies and takes a little bit of those harsh high frequencies out as well. So that's it for the effects and everything. The last thing I have to do is do the pitch bend. And what I'll do is just copy this and paste it into the pitch bend automation lane right here. And now it just sounds something like this. One little thing that I forgot actually is that you need to turn up the bend range to 12 in order for it to match the original bass. So let's do that and let's listen to what it sounds like now. And so that's pretty cool. And compared to the original bass, which sounds like this, sounds pretty good. I think I could open up the filter a little bit more to maybe match it a bit more, but honestly that's pretty close so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one